Hey guys, Stuart Brazel here at the third annual Nautica Oceana Beach House. It's time to click on this. We've got some really exciting celebs expected and it's all for a great cause. So let's do it. Good to yeah. see you again. You were here Hi. last year. I was, yeah, 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 yeah. I was here last year. So it's um, nice. We moved inside. It might have rained, but not yet. <laughs> I know. It, it, it. I mean, it's kind of great out there because it's yeah. gray and feels, you know, it's got some character. A little character. So yeah. talk to me about what brings you back to this event. Well, I, you know, I love Oceana because it's a global, um, it's a global force and a global work and network uh, that that helps protect the oceans and restore the oceans and uh, uh, restore the biodiversity of the oceans and, and they have all kinds of incredible campaigns like stopping seafood fraud and uh, helping protect the habitat of a lot of different animals and they're just working to to, to try to restore our oceans so. Um, it's a great, great organization. It is. So when I saw you last year, we were preparing for the final season of True Blood. Now it's happened. Now that you've had some time to reflect, how has it all been? Uh, God, you know, it, it, it was a, it was just, uh, it was a great ride. Um, it was a great world to be in, you know, for, for that many years. It's great. Kristen Bowers here. I, I know, haven't seen her in a while. Uh, play Pam. Uh, I mean, we just had such a good time. I really miss uh, the people and, you know, going to work. And, um, I miss the cold nights in Malibu. <laughs> like, do, you, do you miss getting naked all the time? <laughs> well, I've gained like, you know, five to ten pounds <laughs> because I don't have to be naked all the time, which is and, nice. And you're not burning those calories from running naked all the time, so it's like your cardio's down. I like developed a healthy eating disorder on that show you know, uh, trying to stay thin. But it was so great and we miss it. We totally miss the people and the, the characters. But it was a great run. So what's going on now? Um, God, I have a, a couple of movies coming out. I did a movie with them called Three Generations with uh, Susan Sarandon and Naomi Watts and Elf. Terrible cast. Te like <laughs> hacks. Why did you do like, that? Like so bad. Uh, yeah, it's, it's coming out and then I just do a movie with Travolta and so. Terrible again. Another, yeah. He's such a sweet guy too. Clearly your career is going nowhere after True Blood. <laughs> nowhere. Yeah. It's got to be frustrating. Yeah, yeah. It's so frustrating. So it's been fun. It's been fun to do some different characters yeah. and, you know, do some different stuff. Yeah. And how have, uh, what are the most common kind of tweets that you get from the True Blood fans that, of course, still, I'm sure, harass you, right? Well, you know, everybody just says they miss it. And, that, you know, I guess the season, somebody said the season finale would be coming on now, which I forgot, you know, I just didn't even think about. But um, people are so sweet and great, and they just say they loved it and, you know. Nice. And how was that last moment for you? What are your thoughts on the, the scene and the coffin and all that? Oh, God. I mean, it was the whole last yeah episode was so emotionally intense. And I remember my last moments on the set at, at, the, Thanksgiving, at the Thanksgiving dinner. And a lot of us wrapped that day, a lot of us at that table. And so and there were some tears and it was sweet and, you know. Yeah, it was nice to rap every, a lot of people at the same time. Yeah. To share it's like that. you have this family now, so then who knows when your paths will cross again. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Just like tonight. Yeah, exactly. Well, cool, have fun, I appreciate it. Okay, thank, thank you. you so much. So, as he's, as he's Hulu <laughs> representing, how cool is it to think that you can have a digital series, be seasons in, and be doing your thing? I think, I think it's amazing, especially being recognized by the daytime Emmys. I mean, just to have this new platform, Hulu, and all these other shows are going on to this. I just read that um, the project, the Mindy Project, just got onto Hulu Which, as well. Which, thank God, I was so sad when I got canceled. It's like, things can be saved now, exactly. you know? It shows you how much these platforms can really excel our, the show. So I think it's just an awesome opportunity for everybody. And now that, you know, you get to play this character, how has it been watching this person grow and develop and the fans' reaction to what happens with your character? Ay, Dios mío. That means, oh my, oh my gosh. I want to say, oh my gosh, <laughs> in Spanish. But, um, you know, I play Filiberta Rodriguez on East Los High, and I just feel like so much of me is, is so much of her and a part of her journey and a part of her adventure. So growing with all of the other castmates and, and the work that we do has been so amazing because I've definitely felt myself grow in real life. So it's, it's an awesome thing to, to recognize that. 
like you have a, a great cast of some strong females, right? Yes. Yes, it's been great. It's been awesome. Um, being with them since season one all the way through and watching them grow as dancers, because some of them are dancers, some of them are not, and just to see the potential and hard work has been an amazing journey. And to be in a cast full of Latinos, it's like you don't see that a lot in TV and, and production right now, so it's such a blessing to see the show. And then the nomination was like something. Like Christmas, it was Christmas. Yeah. It was the best news ever. It was awesome. So good. And where do you hope the show will go? Uh, well, we're definitely going for season four. Um, I'm just gonna put it out there. And <laughs> it's like, it's good manifesting. Uh, I, I'm manifesting right now. Excuse me. Uh, and yes, you know, we are. We're we're hoping that audiences will take on our show and and with open arms and accept you know our culture but not only to be you know hindered and say this is how our culture is but just to have people understand what we go through what we grow up and just our you know our, our culture like we're very proud people and Absolutely. for people yep. just to be more accepting of that and not pigeonhole you and say you have to play this role but this is the beginning and I mean to infinity and beyond you know no, I, think, yes, I think that's so dead. true <laughs> I think it's I, I would just have to piggyback on that you know with the Emmy nominations I mean we, we received a few which was amazing I just think it, we can go nowhere but up yeah. from here so I'm very excited we're and honored. anything you want to say to your fans straight to camera straight to <laughs> camera addicts we love you listen we would literally be nothing without you guys' support and everything that you put into it and and we do this for you East Los love so Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to piggyback off that, too. The East Coast High Addicts are very devoted, yeah. and they just love us, and they show so much love. And at the end of the day, shows like this, with this type of platform, we're nothing without the fans. And we will continue to grow as long as we keep having fans and family and friends that support us and believe in us. So as, as a fan or anybody out there that's trying to do this, just keep believing in yourself and have faith. And every time you fall down, get right back up. I love that. All right, I hope you guys had fun. I got a pick with Love Shark, Life Made. Be sure to check out more from Click On This. And if you want to learn more about this amazing organization, all the links are below in the video. Bye, guys.